Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 4 for our FI LTM series. In this video, I will be covering the architecture of Big IP system. In this video, I will be covering what is Big IP, what is the architecture of it, what is TMOS and Big IP configuration utility and what is full proxy. This is very much important before we began our practical uh, regarding the F5. I thought of covering architecture of F5 so that we can understand in a very practical way because if we don't understand how a big IP system architect work we will not be able to understand how exactly this big IP system operates. So that is the reason I thought of covering in a separate video. So it will be too interesting for you guys. So I will request you to please watch this video till then so that you can understand and you can utilize during your F5 LTM series. And also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. So without any further delay, let's get started. So friends, first of all, we'll understand what is big IP system and the architecture. And after that, we'll understand what is TMOS and big IP configuration utility with the help of this diagram. Okay. So now uh, once you brought a big IP system, so basically once you brought a F5 appliance, okay so this is a five appliance now once you bought this appliance so we'll try to install a five os so basically once we brought a desktop okay so let's say this is your desktop or laptop whatever you think of we are going to install windows on the top of it now in terms of f5 TMOS is the operating system, which is uh, the traffic management of F5. Okay. Similar way uh, in Cisco, we have something as Cisco iOS. In Palo Alto, we have something called as Pan OS. Same way. Okay. Now, once we install this TMOS, this device will be logically separated into two parts now one is traffic management the other known as administration so now in this traffic management we have lot of modules okay you will be seeing over here okay now let's say if i want to use the feature of ltm i'll talk about ltm later not now just try to understand the architecture so LTM if I want to use the feature of LTM I need to get a license of it so once we install this license to this box means to this box we the LTM module will be activated if you have might have worked on checkpoint you will get an option to in, uh, maybe uh, modules uh, the firewall module, the VPN module, the URL filtering, application control, all those modules will be there. If you want to tick, once you have license, you can tick those and you can activate that. Same way in this also, once you have the license, you can activate that feature and you can use that feature off. Okay. Now, why this separation is because, let's say if something goes wrong, Let's say it the uh, big IP or the F5 LTM has been attacked. In that case, you will be able to access the GUI and your CLI things to manage your big IP system. So that is the reason this is only related to your traffic and this is related to your admin. Just keep in mind. Okay. So basically in very simple way, if I want to explain you uh, so this is the laptop that you bought now this is your big IP system windows is TMOS and then let's say if I want to install office I have to get a license right this is not built in but you have to get a license and you have to install it right LTM fee like LTM blade like uh, it, the features will already be there you just need to activate but here you need to install the application 
okay so once you have the i license you will be able to use this so office is kind of ltm feature so in a very simple way this is what i wanted to explain what uh, how uh, the big ip system and architecture and tmos and all those things how it works so friends now we'll understand what is full proxy okay with the help of this diagram we'll try to understand it and it is very important guys be attentive now okay so this is the client okay and this is the server now once this server initiates the traffic towards this server it will be taken or it will be uh, maybe uh, absorbed by this big ip system okay and after that there will be a session from this client to this big ip system and there will be another from this big ip to this server now understand these things this is connection one and this is connection two so everything whatever you are sending to the big ip big ip will see everything and if you want to modify anything you can do that so we'll see a lot of things what are the things that we can modify in this okay so the the advantage of having full proxy is you will have the control over each and every traffic okay so uh, let's say if i am sending a tcp traffic okay on port number let's say 443 okay and if i want i can change lot of things inside the tcp header i want it so i can do that i can do lot of rules like i can use lot of i rules and all those things so i can manipulate the traffic going to this server pool okay so we'll see those things as uh, this is important because you you need to know why and how the big ip or the f5 devices are modifying the data why it is happening so okay so this is what i wanted to cover in this video if you liked it please hit the like button if you have any suggestions please do it on the comment or maybe you can send me an email maybe uh, you can send me a message on facebook instagram i'm getting a lot of uh, positive messages uh, from you guys thank you so much for supporting me and also i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me thank you so much for watching